Welcome back to our exploration of the England Rare Disease Action Plan. Last week, I took you through the England Rare Disease Action Plan and provided an overview of what the action plan is, the five underpinning key themes and the four priority areas. If you didn't get a chance or the opportunity to watch that video, I recommend you pause this one and pop back and watch that one. It's only a few minutes, but gives a really clear insight about why we're exploring the England Royal Disease Action Plan and why it matters to you. So let's get started with priority area one. So the first priority is ensuring that people living with rare disorders get a final diagnosis faster. As you'll soon discover with many stakeholders in the rare disease space, there tends to be a layer of actions and priority area one is no exception. So we had five key underpinning themes, four key priority areas, and then with each of these priority areas, there is also further actions. So to ensure people living with rare disorders get a file, final diagnosis faster, the Department of Health and Social Care and its associated partners have set out five key actions. The first action is to improve how decisions are made on newborn screening for rare diseases. The second action is to introduce whole genome sequencing to screen for genetic conditions in healthy newborns. The third action is to continue to develop the National Genomic Test Directory. The fourth action is to continue to develop the Genomics England Clinical Research Interface. And the fifth action is to pilot new approaches for people living with undiagnosed rare conditions. So if you're anything like me, a lot of those words will seem very unfamiliar for you and you may never have heard of them before. Um, and this week, we are going to look at either the, each of these actions in more detail and we're going to explore what the current practice is in many of these areas um, what the England Rare Disease Action Plan plans to achieve in each of these areas and also what this might look like in the future. 